Hi everyone, welcome back to STEM. I'm really glad that you're here. This will be our last lesson online. Um, and unfortunately it's not a live stream, it's gonna be a video because my live stream equipment is a little broken. But nevertheless, we're gonna get through this project. They're making a new playground at Warwick Public School. They're building this beautiful new thing. It'll be great, great when you guys arrive and I can't wait for you to see it. But if you were to build a playground, how would you design it? What kind of play equipment pieces would you build into it? Today we're going to be going through the engineering process, looking at all the different ways and steps that we could make our own playground, and then you're going to have a chance to make it yourself. Looking forward to it. Our first step is going to ask some questions. How could we build the playground out of different materials? Maybe we would use some natural or processed or recycled materials. We're thinking about what type of things would be best for use in a playground. So then we're going to look through the different kind of requirements we will have for your playground. You need to have at least four pieces of equipment. One piece of those equipment needs to be able to move, so that can be swings or a seesaw or various other kinds of equipment. And you need to be thinking about one joining technique that will be on slide eight for you to use. So let's think about different sorts of playground equipment that you have in your world around you. You could think of that different slides or go to different parks and you can see sort of different kinds of playground equipment that you could use. Maybe you could even include a skate park if that would be a thing that you think would be fun to include in our playground. Maybe you could use some other sorts of different designs, some di different sorts of uh, materials. Maybe we could use different sorts of animals. It's up to you to decide what kind of material, what kind of playground equipment, and what kind of placement would be the best suited if you were to design a playground. Maybe even for War Week. The next step is you need to make your plan. You need to either upload to us a drawing of what your designs and ideas are, or you could maybe use one in Google Slides. You're gonna upload to us and give to us a plan of what you decide to make before you've actually started to make it. Once you've done that, we can move on to the next step. You're gonna create your playground. There's lots of different ways you can do that. And one of those ways is that you can create using physical materials, such as recycled materials that you have in front of us to make a scale model. Or maybe you'd like to prefer to make it in Minecraft Education. Um, if you have any problems logging into Minecraft Education, you should really talk to me, Mr. Cooper, send me an email and I'll be able to help you out. But you can design and think about different ways that you could make a playground. Now it's time for the last step. Thinking about how could we improve our design? What could we do to, to make it better? What type of things about the design worked well? What did you like about it? What type of things could have been better? What kind of things that you found difficult or maybe you could have uh, chosen a different way of doing it? If you had to change anything about your design, what would you choose? Make sure to answer these questions in the slides. It's been so much fun doing STEM with you guys for the past couple weeks on top in live streams and online. Um, I know it hasn't been always the best way to that we could be able to learn or to teach, but I've really enjoyed these times that we've had together. And I hope you've learned something and you've got something to use for it for next time. I can't wait to see you guys in the classroom. Me and Ms. Ibbett are very excited to have you all back at school, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.